My name is Stephen Ferlato. My education was in graphic design, and my career has been as an art director. My passion over the past 40 years has been the study of the divine in geometry and the Roman alphabet. In this image, I've overlaid Notre Dame's rose window with the star-cut diagram, which is shown in white. The relationships are fascinating. Do you think the star cut was the grid used for the design of the window? The paradigm or grid for the Roman capitals is the star cut diagram. How do we begin to draw this form? As God did at the beginning of time with seven circles. The circle represents the clock. A revolution denotes a minute, an hour, a day, a year. The keeping of time evolved from the spinning of the earth, the circling of the moon, and the path of the earth around the sun. Each time we draw a circle, we should hold in our hearts these cycles. The circle represents the spiritual. God used the spiritual to create the physical world, known to many of us as the square. Seven circles define the square. Seven days created the earth. We will work to draw all seven circles. We did not get to rest as God did on the seventh day. From the square, the star cut was drawn. From the star cut, the letters were drawn. From the letters came the word. From the word came the light of dawn. This metaphor from the Old Testament sets my intention. Whatever your belief, science or theology, set an intention when you draw.
In the next lecture, we will continue to draw on the star cut diagram to develop the nuanced curves of the letter O, again using a straight edge and compass. Thank you for listening. I hope you follow me through this entire lecture series. Please visit my website at archetypegeometry.com. Be well.